and today we will going to discuss a very important lecture over the ground water okay so many people are asking me uh, uh, different parts of our country like india so how they are will going to download uh, the ground water data okay so if you see uh, i am going to show you how you can download the ground water data so we have one websites that is called varis india varis india varis uh, this is the India Varis website, so you can simply type India Varis, so you will come to this website, okay? So just right click and open a new tab over here. And see here in the uh, Varis, this is the sites, okay? And you will get the data over here. This is the uh, like uh, water data. And uh, if you want to download the groundwater, then go to the groundwater, then groundwater explorations uh, and uh, see uh, this is groundwater level behavior okay so this is the thing and he, from here you can download the groundwater level okay so simply click on the groundwater level and you will jump to this particular sites okay so let's let's it be open see now this is the website okay where you will get uh, different types of water uh, data sets of groundwater you will get from this particular website okay and you see here uh, we have options here if you want to download from the central groundwater board so you can select that if you want to select some particular states you can select the west bengal okay and accordingly if you want to go for the district level you can select the district level also so let's wait for this results will come so now uh, here if you want to select any kind of particular district so you can go for the districts so i am not going to select any districts here okay so only uh, state i just change it as a west bengal okay yeah now you can see here uh, if you want to go for the monthly data daily data sessional data sets okay so you can select here accordingly so suppose i want a sessional data so you can select the simply the sessional data so uh, session uh, select the session which the session data set suppose january to march i am just selecting so i it will going to select the january to march session data so let's wait for the result yeah so now you see here uh, this is the session data sets if i want to select a particular year so i can select the year also like 2018 i am selecting okay now <clears throat> now i just uh, for the station i just i don't select any particular station i just want the data from the all the stations so see here uh, now uh, this is a shorted out over there okay so you see so a lot of data sets will be there so if you simply click the download okay so uh, you see there is one options here also you can get a download options okay you see here for i'm just student as a student i want to download this data so i can give my mail id over here and simply click on the submit so now see districts level groundwater data which uh, is actually downloaded okay so you can select it and uh, this is the data set suppose this is the one or this is the one data sets which i downloaded earlier for the 2016 okay and this is the uh, data which i downloaded now okay so just let's see that also groundwater level so see here this is a groundwater level for the each uh, districts uh, these data sets are actually showing okay and uh, uh, this is the one observations data in in a observation range it is showing and if you see this is the another data which i downloaded earlier so which is a groundwater level for the each locations okay so you see here all the different locations groundwater level data is downloaded okay but here one thing is uh, uh, we have to do like see here though no lat long options will be there okay now the challenge is how we will get the lat long over this okay so for this uh, i just make a tricks okay so how what is the tricks see here i have a west bengal boundary okay and in the west bengal boundary i have all these uh, districts name okay you see here darjeeling and all the districts names will be there okay so what i did i just added uh, this excel sheet which i just downloaded okay so that we need to make it uh, uh, separate okay so why you just see here here you have this tags and all that so you need not to uh, save like this it will not going to upload in your arcgis pro so what you have to do it here you have to save a separate csv file for this okay like uh, i just uh, save here okay so you see this this is the csv file which i just uh, save for this okay so you just see here that is the csv file and uh, these are data sets okay so which i uh, already save it as a csv 
and I just want to uh, convert this. Okay, so this I just remove as you seen here. The symbol and everything is removing my last Excel sheets. Okay, so that Excel sheet, what I did, I give here as an input. Okay, so you see here groundwater CSV files will be there. Okay, so if I open it, so see here now this is my groundwater CSV file. Okay, which will be there, and uh, this I already did one thing. So uh, what I will do, I will just uh, remove all those joints. So then it will get, we will get an understanding what i actually did so this is basically if you see here this is the west bengal uh, data sets okay so as this data they are not providing me any uh, kind of uh, lat long so the trick is you can use the join tool okay to join this data with the groundwater data sets okay just you see your groundwater csv because the common field will be your uh, districts so on the basis of the districts okay so we have to join this but one thing we remember the name which i did actually correction okay because all these names are not corrected properly okay so you just see here uh, i will just open the 2016 data so that you can understand so this is the 2016 data sets okay so here you have the name different so what you have to do you please copy this name first okay i will just copy this and i will open a separate excel okay, so just open a separate excel and simply paste it okay so you can go and save this browse wherever you want to save okay suppose i will save here in the test okay so this it is not what was going to work 2016 I will not do over this, this just I will show you how to save this data set CSV MS DOS format. Otherwise, it will take so much time for this correction. See what is the correction you know? Like here, the name, whatever the districts will be there, and whatever the shape files I have, so may not be same. So, what I did actually, see, I taken this data okay from this table. So I will close this table as of now so that you can understand. Okay, so what I did, I have one vector data. So I will open that vector data first. So I have this data. So I am just opening this particular India district data sets. Okay. So I just simply open the district data. So in this district data, I just only want the West Bengal districts. Okay. So in attributes, we can go for the selection, select by attributes, and I can go with district is equal to west bengal okay so please not this one, sorry state okay so i just uh, go with the state is equal to west bengal so then it will be select all the districts within that okay you just see here that only it is did so what i did i just right click selection okay and i just make the layer from the selected features that also you can do or you can go with the data export data Okay, so wherever you want to save it, okay. <laughs> so, I can give a name and save and you simply click on okay. And you see here, uh, I just remove it and this is the West Bengal, all districts will be showing here. But the problem is, you see, this is the district's names which will be there, which may not be matched with this. Okay, so suppose the uh, layer which I just created, okay, like here, this, I just created one Excel sheet, uh, which is 16. So, you just see here, whatever it is opening here, na? so that is not same. Like see here, it is Birbhum, it is showing like a Purva Bardhavan, it is mentioned. Okay, so here, uh, Bardhavan is only written. Okay, so if it is like that, the table will not going to join. Okay, so what I did, first thing is we have to do the corrections over this data set, the, this Excel data. So this Excel data, it will see, as you seen here, it is not same. So you can't, you can't do the uh, editing over the Excel sheet directly. Okay, so to doing the editing over the Excel, so what you have to do, you know, you have to create a GeoDabase and you have to transfer this file okay suppose in this test pro i already created one okay so that over that okay i will show you 
but I will show you the full process like uh, file database. Okay, I created a file database as I given name as a groundwater two zero one six. Okay, so I just give a name like this. Okay, and what I will do, I will just export these two to be there. Okay, or you can do the import. That will be the best way. So just right click, go to the import feature classes. Okay, so over the feature classes, you can select your West Bengal feature class and you can transfer it as well as you can transfer that the table also you just see here West Bengal district so i can simply run it okay so now this is transferred over there you just see here now West Bengal district the same way you have to transfer your 2006 ground data so simply right click go to the import okay now tables you select and drop down and select this groundwater table okay and you can simply click on the run so now you see I have this two together and now beautiful thing is I can do the editing over this. So what you have to do, you just remove these two. Okay. And simply drag and drop these two things. Okay. Okay. Now you have to do the correction. How to do the correction? See, you just need to open this and you have to need to open this. Okay. See what I have to do. I have to change all these names. Okay according to this uh, shape file names whatever the shape files names will be just accordingly i have to change suppose i am just showing you one thing okay suppose here uh, here name it is all all names are bardhaman okay but here all these names are purva bardhaman and pashim bardhaman we have the separate things will be there okay so purva bardhaman and pashim bardhaman whatever the separate things will be there so what we will do we are going to create the same name so and now this excel table i have this editing option so what we'll do you can type control f okay you see you will find this test and in west bengal you see i have the bordhaman name so i will just copy this name control c i will come down here okay i want to make it here as this one okay so that is control v which one i want to change purva bordhaman suppose i will just purva bordhaman i will control c okay and in the replace press i will just make this okay sorry uh, just i have to make opposite okay so you can just take cut okay you want to replace this one with this bottom one okay so just simply copy it okay and then right click and paste enter you just simply click on enter you see it is taking you have to click on this double click okay double uh, lines and see those names have changed so like this way all the districts names you have to change properly that's what i did okay so once you did it you can come to this edit and save edits okay so what the thing you have to do before doing the joining you have to make all the names suppose if it is a caps here you can make it in the caps everything will be the same the name should be the same whatever you are doing the joining otherwise it will do the problem okay the same thing whatever i did it over here okay if you see here my this attribute table i have the same name okay so all these are same even the west bengal attribute table if you seen those are the same okay so now once i did these two things i can make a joining okay so how to do the join very easy process select this okay so I just simply select it. Okay, right click. And you see, first you will see the attributes. As of now, there is no values. Okay, no values of this groundwater data. So I want this groundwater data to create a map. Okay, groundwater level information I want to add with this. Okay, so what I did, I will select the West Bengal districts. I will right click. Okay, I will go to this join and relates and click on add joins. Okay, here in input data, I want to going to make a joining on the basis of uh, on this. Okay, just okay. So now, if you see here in the input field, what I will do, I will select the again the the districts. Okay, and my join field will be also the districts. Okay, both will be the same input district output is, and then over that I will simply click on OK. Now you see if I open the attribute and all my data value is connected with this okay so see now groundwater level data i will connect it with this so the challenges which i faced after downloading the data as you seen here 
here there is a no connections or no given the coordinate information okay so now it is attached very easily using the join tool and now you see i have options to create a map okay like i want to see which districts are more groundwater level and which is less so for best you can do that with a new tool that is called data engineering tool you can use this particular tool here okay so this is the same tool but here it will do the the classifications means uh, over the symbology things it will do in automation let's see here this is the thing like i just simply click on this update symbology okay and you see it, according to the groundwater level okay directly it is classifying your image okay no need to go in your symbology select that field groundwater level directly i will just click and it is going to show you even if i want to click uh, um, uh, uh, create a chart so i can simply click on the charts and you see groundwater level charts it is going to directly going to show to me okay so see how this uh, is a distribution curve okay so that also it is going to show you okay so all these things it will just create within a second and uh, suppose somebody is uh, want to create um, the interpolation map over it okay so what i did see there is an uh, it is not an uh, exact thing but uh, you can do these things that is the thing uh, that is the process is basically you have to convert it point to polygon sorry polygon to point because these are all the polygons okay so each polygons we have the district uh, the points values so you can convert this to like feature to points okay so in the input features you can give your uh, west bengal districts okay and then simply click on the run so if i click the run i will get uh, this map okay so if you see here each locations i will get one point size so if i just right click and open attribute table so for each districts i have this particular uh, groundwater level maps okay so this is the, this is the so on the basis of this if i want to calculate uh, uh, interpolations the same thing i will go to the analysis tab okay over the toolbox okay so i will go to the spatial analysis okay under the spatial analysis we have the interpolations i just simply click on rdw i will give this as a point value okay so you can give the cell size according i'm not giving anything here so, so you see here uh, i just simply click on run once i will run i will get uh, this is the map and this map if you want to cut exactly with the west bengal boundary so how we'll do that so simply you come to the map right click and property the clipping you can go with the uh, clip the outline select the west bengal this simply click on apply and click on apply and open and see how nicely it is created over this last image also okay so this is the both process of over the raster data how we're going to create a raster map and how we're going to create a vector map over your groundwater data downloaded from your various groundwater uh, portal which we have okay so this is the end in in, in arcgis pro it will be very useful and if you see you, you have you can simply change your base maps and if you want to do the marking over a different districts okay like image hybrid if you want to apply okay so you can get over the level over your map also okay so we see here okay the over the levels of over your maps also you can you can get like this okay so that is the uh, good thing over here okay in access pro so i hope it will be very useful for everyone who is interested to to create a map over the groundwater uh, data because many people are asking how to download the groundwater data and how to do the map inside arcgis pro okay and i i just show them and if you have the lat long then it will be more better okay if you don't have lat long so this is another process which you can apply and you can create your map so thank you everyone so i hope you like <coughs> this um, uh, video so if you like this video please share and subscribe with others share my uh, share this video and subscribe my channel okay so thank you uh, for your great support thank you all